Each of us are very special before God. Amen? Amen. So can you say, I am special? Can you say that? I am special. Amen. Because of Jesus, we are special. And this morning, we have a special person with us. And her name is Trinity Smith, and she is a high school student. And she will share a story with uh, her experience or her experience of God during our Ash Wednesday. So, Trinity. Like she said, I'm Trinity Smith. I attend Clinton High as a freshman. I've been in this church about my whole life. Um, I know that Ash Wednesday was a couple weeks ago, but me and Pastor Christina thought that it would be beneficial if I told you what I learned from it. I wanted to start by telling you why it came. At the moment, I didn't come to learn about God, our Lord and Savior, actually. I wasn't really feeling like God was there. I came because I knew my friends were going to be there. At the beginning of the sermon, I was only kind of listening until we read Matthew 6, 14 through 15. This scripture says that God will not forgive you until you forgive others. And I was thinking, I've been forgiving people my whole life, no matter how bad it is I forgave. I gave people more chances than what they deserved. I then realized there was one person I hadn't forgiven, myself. I have always been so hard on myself to be the best at school and sports, to the bestest friend you have ever had. I wanted to be the prettiest, the fastest, the smartest, and when I don't make it, I'm not the best, I used to punish myself. I used to hurt myself physically, but then it turned into hurting myself mentally. I would yell at myself, say I'm not good enough for anyone, or not good enough to do anything. I would say I'm the worst and that no one would want me. When I realized that I had to forgive myself, I tried to take everything back. The hurtful words and comments I had ever said to myself, I tried to take it all back. But I had had so much hate towards myself that I couldn't take it all back in one night. But when I realized I had to try, I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I started to cry because I was so happy and confused, but I was also sad. Sad that I had said all those mean stuff to myself. That night, you get a cross put on your forehead. For me, I left that cross on all night because every time I looked at it, it reminded me that I had to forgive not only everyone else, but myself too. It also showed me that God works in mysterious ways, but I know that no matter how far we get from God, God will always be there waiting for us. Forgiving myself was the best decision I'd ever made. Now this might sound a little cheesy, but everything seemed a little bit brighter and was put into perspective. No matter how bad you mess up, there is only one of you and you have to learn to love and forgive yourself. Because if you don't, you'll be relying on everyone else to pick you up when you feel down, because you can't. But if you love yourself, you can pick yourself up by yourself. It also makes it easier to love and understand everyone else. Thank you. I have been thinking of a Trinity for two weeks <laughs> because of last week she said she would give a testimony. So I prayed over her and I think over her and she was not able to. So God wants to bless you. So another week I have to pray, not have to, wanted to pray for her and over her. And God gave me uh, two scriptures for you, uh, Trinity, and I think that is for all of us, not only Trinity. And uh, Psalm 139 and verse 13 and 14, would you read? For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So this is God's message for you. And uh, last night, 
When I prayed over her, God gave me another scripture. That is Jeremiah verse, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Would you read? This is what God said. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Would you read it again? Before? Before you were born, born I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. So when God set apart, when God knew before we were our conception mother's womb, God has a purpose. God has a purpose. So I wanted to make sure God has a special purpose because when I met her last year, I felt something upon her. And I prayed for her, grabbed her a couple of twice, and I prayed over her, and I got, God gave a message for her. So I wanted to, and today, I really felt this is your first official ministry for the Lord. So I'm excited what God has for her and for future. And I pray that, uh, we prayed it this morning, God will use her uh, for her generation and then generation to come uh, for the kingdom of God. So I will pray for you and anointing over you, all right?